Our next contestant, contestant number eight, Harja Singh Situ. <laughs> Conquering the world. Conquering the world, Harja Singh Situ. The apartheid. One of the most cruel, unfair systems in the world that resulted in so many innocent lives lost. During the peak of the cruelty, it seemed like there was no hope for the blacks in South Africa. And yet, 32 years later, the pigmentation of one's skin is no longer the differentiating factor between whether or not one can get a job. 32 years later, the value of someone is judged based on the content of their character and not the colour of their skin. While it is true that the mountain of racism was overcome by the South Africans, this was only truly possible when each and every individual looked within and conquered themselves. When they conquered the biases they had for the opposite race, when they conquered the hate they had for each other and made space for acceptance. And it was only doing this that the South Africans truly overcome the mountain of racism. Overcoming mountains isn't exclusive to South Africans. Everyone overcomes mountains in their daily lives, whether it be trying something new, or doing something you never thought you could, or overcoming your fear of being judged. These mountains are not easily overcome, and in truth, the only way to overcome them is by overcoming ourselves. By overcoming our fear of failure, by overcoming our biases, by overcoming the internal restrictions that we have put in place that only hold us back from being better. I'm sure by now you'd have noticed that I'm wearing a turban. I'm a Sikh and I tend to stand out in crowds. And it is for this reason that when I joined a new school in primary two, I was asked a lot of questions about my religion, like whether I was a girl and why I didn't cut my hair. Sometimes I would even be teased about it. Looking back on it now, it seems so stupid, so juvenile. It's so clear these comments came from a place of ill inform, and yet at that time, it severely affected my self-esteem. I mean, just imagine nine-year-old Harjas pulling up to a new school, ready to make new friends, only to end up being made fun of. I didn't even want to go to school the next day. Eventually, my mother noticed my unhappiness and asked me what was wrong. I broke down and shared with her what I was going through in school and how I was unable to accept my appearance and what she told me sticks with me to this day. She said, Harjas, if you can't even accept your appearance, how do you expect others to accept you? I thought about it and realized, you know what? She's right. I mean, if I couldn't even accept my appearance, how would I explain to others why I look so and hence be accepted? Now, whenever someone makes fun of my appearance, I simply smile and explain. Thanks, Mom. Although I didn't know it then, I had overcome myself, and only then that I, did I overcome the mountain of acceptance. In a world where so many atrocities are committed and so many injustices executed, it can seem tough, almost impossible to come out of such dark times. The Uyghurs feel it, the Ukrainians feel it, the blacks during the apartheid felt it. All we can do to try to overcome this is to look within and open up. To humble ourselves, to see other human beings as other human beings. Because it is only in conquering ourselves that we can conquer the world. Thank you. <laughs>